Hey guys, uh, let's talk about you more on the Kingdom Fungi. Uh, in the past video, we discussed the, uh, uh, the concept of Kingdom Fungi, the organism found in Kingdom Fungi, the characteristics of organisms that found in this kingdom, uh, and their distinctive features. We also saw uh, the outline of Vilas of uh, Vila that are found in this kingdom. So in this video, I'm going to see a few of the uh, phyla that you, we have in this kingdom fungi. Let's see phyla mascomycota. Uh, this is phyla, the mascomycota, also called the side fungi. They produce spores in a, a cell-like cell called the assay. Now these spores are what we call the ascospores. Examples of Ascomycota are Baker cyst, uh, cup fungi, and the ringworm fungi. So these are just a few of the examples of Ascomycota, or the organisms that are found in this phylum mycota. The cases of phylum mycota, uh, their cell wall is not made up of chitin, but certain polysaccharide component of phosphoric acid. They've granulated the cytoplasm. They store food in the form of glycogen. Uh, they reproduce asexually by budding and sexually by means of ascospores. Their distinct, distinctive features are that uh, reproduction is basically that is by means of, of ascospores. Now, let's talk more. Uh, the advantages and the disadvantages. We've seen the characteristics of phylum mycota. Now let's see the phylum uh, bryophyta. This is the other phylum phyla that is found in the, this kingdom fungi. Uh, now the organisms that are found in this phylum, in the organisms that are found in this phylum bryophyta are uh, the moses. Now the structure of moses, uh, moses are small soft plants which are called as bryophytes. They commonly grow close together in clumps or mates in a damp or shady locations. They do not have flowers or seeds and the, their simple leaves cover the thin willy stems. Now at certain times, Moses produces spore capsules, which may appear as the like capsules are uh, blown aloft on the thin structs. So below is just a diagram of, of a moss. As you can see, that's how moss looks like. You see the advantages and disadvantages of this moss. Uh, the advantage is that the moss can increase the water retention capacity of the soil since the enable slowing evaporation and also help to hold the soil in place in case there is any chances of soil erosion. But the disadvantage is that a thick carpet of moss can reduce the division of gases into the soil and to the roots, which may result in root poor drainage conditions. So that's just uh, the advantage and the disadvantage of the Moses. So I hope it's clear, guys. So for so now, we have talked about uh, these two, two phylum that are found in this kingdom fungi. Thank you for listening.